All right, here we've got the next limited time series uh, featuring Nissan GTR R35 R3 spec edition, of course. So um, let's see, how long is this event running till? It's running till February 2nd for, I guess, Australian time. So for me here in US of A, it's going to be till Friday, uh, January 1st. All right, so of course this is the out of all the out of the four new R3 spec cars in this version 7.0.5. This is the most expensive one of the four. Uh, so of course I'm not talking about the legacy uh, limited time series that are running at the same time right now. Of course we've got the Jaguar running right now, the CX75 R3 spec as well as the Hurricane Lamborghini right? R3 spec. So, um, yeah, so for this video, let's talk about this new one. Sort of new one. Anyway, uh, you get 120 gold uh, for completing the series, as well as the car itself, of course. So let's enter, uh, see, what did I say? <laughs> uh, one at a time. And, of course, we get to... Um, um, I guess racing dollar bonus for today's um, daily bonus. Anywho, so here we are. The powerful Nissan GTR R35 pushed past its natural limits with the power of Real Racing 3. All right. Because, you know, the non R3 spec is not pushed beyond or not powered by real racing three i suppose is that what the the other side of that statement would be <laughs> anyway so here's the breakdown of the rewards so the big uh reward is all of course at the end the car itself which by the way how expensive is this car the gtr r35 it cost 850 gold according to real racing uh, website so that is an expensive car of course the base PR starts at 70 and goes all the way up to 86.6 when it's fully upgraded so that's um, you know pretty high performance car and this car I believe belongs in the elite section of your career so upon completing the limited time series that's where you can um, race this car uh, I think it's just one single bonus series this car's in, at least at the moment. So anyway, if you want to complete it right away, it'll cost you 1505 gold. So as I said, this is going to be the expensive car of the group here in the current release. So let's see. For now, you know what? Let's complete the series with the gold. Yes, thank you very much. And then you get 120 gold for the trouble. And then, of course, you win the car, which is uh, the expensive one, 850. Right? So, moving on here. And then Nissan GTR R35 R3 Spec World Series. That's uh, that limited time series. I'm not limited time series. That's the bonus series that's in elite section of your career but uh, so yeah the base spec we're starting at 70 even and in order to complete this limited time series it says we need to bring the PR up to 82.4 so let's see if that is the case and what do we got 82.4 all right so it's actually accurate uh, this time, unlike the, was it the last one? Yeah, 240Z S30 R3 spec. Their um, PR requirement was off by 0.2 on their website. So, okay, you know, once in a while they do miss it. But um, that's why it's good to confirm, right? So anyway, here we go. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be the same thing, by the way. Um, I believe when I ran through this on my other account, uh, three upgrades acro across the board will give you the the 
exactly bring your PR up to the target 82.4 and I didn't calculate how much gold it was costing. I want to say it's almost 500 gold, like 400 something. So um, here, let's find out, shall we? So the first round cash upgrade is um, 12 hour wait time. So this, uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, expensive and um, will take a while for these upgrades. So uh, if you're planning on winning this car, uh, you gotta get rolling because last I feel like last few limited time series cars they were pretty uh, cheap or more affordable um, in terms of how much it actually costs as well as the how long it takes to upgrade with the racing dollars so in a way you can kind of sit on the bench till you know later on to uh go ahead to win these limited time series but in this case this one is going to take a little bit more of a uh, I guess proactive action in terms of getting your upgrades done and so on and so forth so all right for our purpose I will use gold to upgrade right away since you know I don't want to run this video for 12 hours <laughs> um, so we're starting at 70 even let's find out how how far the first round of cash upgrades bring our PR up to. So the drivetrain is at a 0.7 boost here, 423,600 racing dollars. All right, and second round, uh, second tier upgrades are uh, all gold from what I remember. And uh, here body is gonna be the little less and the little less PR boost, 0.5 only, but uh, we're gonna need it so let's see how far do we need to go 82.4 so starting from 70 it's about 12 what's well, exactly 12.4 uh, PR points that we need so each tier should give us what about uh, four point boost and change four point one and a half or something like that about that much so at the end of this first round of cash upgrades, we should be somewhere around 74, right? So here's the suspension upgrade. Moving on to the next category, exhaust. Um, and uh, that's, exhaust and suspensions are always fairly comparable in terms of cost and the PR boost. So all right and then so we're up to 73.1 and we got a couple more to go so uh, with the brakes here it brings our PR up to 30 uh, 73.6 and finally tires and wheels uh, brings our PR up to 74.1 so almost exactly where I thought it was gonna end up so that is the your PR with the cash upgrades only and uh, here we go let me get my calculator out here so I can actually add up these numbers all right so all right here we go engine we got 85 gold and then at the end of this round of upgrades we should be around the what 78.2 or 78.3 gold upgrades typically don't give us as high of a PR boost in case you wanted to know traditionally not always but generally speaking so um all right so engine 85 and yes next one's gonna be the cash upgrade but before we get there let's see um so add another 80 and we're up to 165 gold and then next category body we got 60 gold so that brings a pr uh, not pr well pr gets up to 76 even but the cost is now up to 225 gold suspension we got 70 gold so that brings the total cost so far up to 295 and then the exhaust is 70 as well so that's another 70 going into the car here upgrades that's 365 gold boy as i was saying this is expensive and uh, 55 gold for brakes so that is the total 
cost of 420 so far and we got one more category for uh, with the gold upgrades here this is gonna be another 65 and that is 485 gold total and that does bring the PR up to 78.3 so um, I guess gold upgrade in this case gold upgrades in this case does give us a little bit higher PR boost so I was wrong in that sense so the first round of cash upgrades got us up to 74.1 and we added another 4.2 PR points here with a second tier uh, gold upgrades so we're up at 78.3 and we need uh, 4.1 more PR which I believe this third round of cash upgrades should get us exactly at and this as I said uh, now this one is gonna be one day wait time so as I was saying be proactive don't wait till last minute for these upgrades because they are expensive and they take a while so here I'll use cash to get through all of them instantly here and uh, so 79.6 all right and then the next upgrades when where available are gonna be all gold so this is the cheapest way to get to the target as I was saying so suspension gets us up to 80.7 so and uh, exhaust is the last upgrade available so we're maxing out exhaust here 70 or 81.4 so we got one more point to go so brakes and tires and wheels should get us there exactly so with brakes third tier upgrade we get up to 81.9 and finally tires and wheels should do it um look at that we actually get a um, 0.1 extra spare so yes 82.5 which is as close as you're gonna get to the target pr 82.4 and uh, certainly this is the cheapest way to get here so um you could experiment otherwise but all the other upgrades for gold is gonna cost a lot more so that is kind of a mood point you know what i mean and the pr boost typically is not as high as you climb up to the higher tier upgrades as well so if you can help it, you want to try to get to the um, spread out your upgrades on as many categories as as many categories as you can, because that will uh, be the most economical way of uh, bringing your PR up. So, anywho, with that being said, um, I believe this car is fully customizable. Yep. And then we got a couple of different official liveries. The white one, pretty cool. And the gray one. All right, I think I kind of like the white one better. But uh, I'm not spending 20 gold to do that. Um, anyway, that was a three hour service time for this car. So there it is, pretty standard there. And let's uh, run through the series itself and uh, check uh, to see if we need some, uh, how the actual series is going to turn out. So tier one, we got autocross at Le Mans, speed record at Dubai Hill Circuit. So that's a pretty short one. And we got a cup at Circuit of the Americas, national circuit. We got a, oh, just a single lapper. So that's going to be a pretty quick one for this car. All right, and tier two, we got head to head at New York. So that's a pretty short one. Elimination, well, always takes same amount of time at Spa in this case. And the cup is gonna be at Suzuka East with two laps with a PR requirement of 72.3. So obviously you will need some upgrades to get through the tier two as you would expect from the past experience here, since the car stock PR is 70. All right, so, so far, a uh, pretty quick event, isn't it? Nothing, no no long lap event here. Anyway, tier three, we got endurance at Monza Road Course. So it's an, it's an endurance. So fairly early on in the series, unless you are really aggressive with training your bots, 
um, it's not going to, it, you know, I would expect about five kilometers, six kilometers at this point. Uh, and then, of course, speed snap is fairly short event. And then we got a cup at Silverstone National Circuit to wrap up Tier 3. And the PR required there is 73.4. And it's going to be two laps. So once again, fairly short event there. And the Tier 4, this is where you get 25% completion. Hunter is at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix. So that's a full lap. And uh, I like that circuit. Uh, it's got lots of uh, corners, of course. And uh, But that might take a... Well, it's a full lap. So at this, by the time you reach Tier 4, your car will most likely be in red, which means this drag race could possibly pose some trouble if you're running with less than 21 upgrades that you're going to need. But if you have more than that, you... I, or if you, uh, it's tier four, so maybe it won't be too bad. Your opponents may not be as fast. All right, with that being said, moving on to tier four to, or cup race here of tier four to wrap up the tier four. It's going to be at the Red Bull Ring National Circuit, two laps. So that's once again, pretty short track. And the PR requirement, 74.3. So 0.2 higher than how far you're going to get with the cash upgrades only. And uh, what was the reward for 25% completion, like 10 gold or something like that? And of course, none of the upgrades, gold upgrades are less than 10. So if you're getting this far, you're going to have, um, you're spending more than you're earning, right? So you definitely have to win this car if uh, you go down this route. So anyway, tier five, we got head to head at Hong Kong. Single lap, right? Huh? Head to head, generally single lapper. So pretty short one there. Elimination at the Catalonia Club Circuit. And uh, am I seeing a pattern here? Let's see. We had uh, head to head and elimination. Right? So we got autocross speed record cup. Head to head elimination cup. Endurance speed snap cup. Hunter drag race cup. Okay, so we deviate a little bit and head to head elimination cup. All right, so let's look for the pattern here. Second tier, we have a head to head at a Formula E circuit, followed by an elimination at a, another circuit. Um, it's a pretty health, uh, lengthy one, right? And then cup is at Suzuka East. Why is a tier five? Head to head at Formula E circuit. Elimination is, okay, Catalonia Club circuit. So that's at least short one, but it's a, it's an elimination, so the length of the circuit means absolutely nothing here. And then the cup is at Friends Hatch. Three laps. So instead of Suzuka East. All right. What's the PR requirement? 75.2. All right. Not that it really matters, but good to know. Uh, tier 6, we got Endurance and uh, Speed Snap and Cup. Did we have a tier with the Endurance, Speed, Snap, and Cup? Was that tier 3? Endurance, Speed, Snap, and Cup. Look at that. So, tier 2 and 5 are kind of parallel, similar, like same type of events. Tier 3 and 6 are also kind of the same type of events. We got Endurance at uh, Hockenheim Short, Speed, Snap at Mazda Raceway, and... Cup is going to be a Daytona motorcycle course, so that's of course going to be a rolling start. Two laps and PR requirement 75.9. All right, moving on. Tier 7, we got Speed Record, Autocross, and Cup. What was the first tier? We had a Speed Record, Autocross, and Cup. Look at that. So there are some um, combination that we're working with here. In this case, of course, the order is slightly switched on the first and second event here. But, you know, once you unlock the event, uh, unlock the tier, you can um, shuffle the order of events however you want. Anyway, so we got speed record is going to be a Porsche test track, long road circuit, autocross at Nürburgring Grand Prix. And as you know, all autocross at Nürburgring are uh, lengthy, let's say. So Grand Prix circuit is going to be a fairly lengthy one. 
Anyway, uh, cup race is gonna be at Dubai Grand Prix. Oh, double lap. All right, but with this car, it should you should be able to wrap it up pretty quickly. Let's check the PR since this is what you're gonna need for 50% completion, and it is 76.7. All right. Moving on to tier 8, you need two events in tier 8 in order to uh, get that, achieve that 50% completion. So we got head to head at Monza Junior Course, endurance is at Panorama, uh, the Bathurst Mount Panorama, and Cup is at Circuit of the Americas, the shorter half uh, club circuit with seven laps. Oh boy, that's a lot of lap counts, isn't it? But that's a pretty short circuit, so PR requirements 77.4. So there's that. And let's see, head to head endurance. Have we had, right? Head to head, and oh, we had elimination, not endurance. Oh, so we're switching it up here on tier 8. Instead of elimination, we got endurance. All right. I prefer endurance over in, uh, elimination anyway. All right, so next tier, tier nine, we got speed snap at Hong Kong and speed record at Daytona. Ooh, that might force you to uh, service your car if you're running in red and cup is at Nürburgring. Mule in box life, seven laps, pretty short circuit. So PR requirements, 78.1. All right, Hunter Autocross Cup. Have we had that in combination? No, so now we're beginning to really shuffle, don't we? All right, that's all right. So Hunter is at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix Circuit, Autocross at uh, Brickyard, Road Course, of course, and the uh, Cup is at Hockenheim National, three laps, so that seems like that might be shorter than those seven lapper at uh, Mühlenbach Life. But anywho, PR requirements 78.84, tier 10. All right, tier 11, we got elimination, drag race, and cup, of course. So elimination at the national circuit of uh, the circuit of the Americas, drag race at Suzuka Grand Prix, and Catalunya GP, cup race, three laps. All right, so that's uh, beginning to get a bit lengthier. 79.5 is the PR requirement in order to, of course, achieve 75% completion by getting at least one gold trophy here. In tier 12, we got speed record at the short circuit, short road circuit of the Porsche test track. Uh, speed snap is going to be at Le Mans. So, of course, that is happening uh, down the Molsen Strait, right? Coming out of Tete Rouge. And the cup is going to be at Spa. Two laps, maybe? Yep. About what I expect. Uh, PR requirement, 80.2. So at this point, of course, we're getting pretty close to the conclusion of this event. And tier 13, we've got Endurance at Mazda Raceway, Elimination at Brands Hatch, and cup is going to be at Melbourne. Ooh, this is going to have pretty high lap count, isn't it? Five. Okay. That's not too bad. PR requirement 80.9. All right, tier 14, autocross, drag race, and cup. Where was the autocross, drag race? Ah, oh, it was a hunter and drag race. Okay, so we have two drag races so far, right? So drag race generally is difficult with the car not serviced. So that's something to keep in mind there. Anyway, uh, we got autocross at New York. And Drag Race is at Red Bull Ring, Grand Prix. That's always at Grand Prix, I think. Um, at least at Red Bull Ring, the Drag Race, that is. And the Cup Race at Suzuka West, four laps with a PR requirement of 81.7. All right, and here we go. Final tier, of course. We got Speed Snap at Silverstone Grand Prix. And uh, that is all about the the loop and entry section um, so yeah that could pose a bit of a trouble in critical condition if you're running in red once again uh, endurance at dynamic circuit of Porsche test track so that should be pretty easy 
and the uh, final cup race, Wokenheim Grand Prix, three laps, and PR requirement is of course 82.4, and the cheapest way actually gets us to 82.5, which is fine, uh, since if you want to, um, once you win this car, you would probably want to run it in actual like part of your career or something. Um, so let's see. It's in, as I said, an elite, elite section of your career, the Nissan GTR R35 R3 spec World Series, uh, along with the other R3 spec World Series, like Hurricane has its own and uh, Jaguar has its own. So this is going to be sitting alongside those. And uh, in order to complete 100% there, you would need to bring your PR up to 84.7. So you're going to need a few more upgrades beyond um, three upgrades across the board. So uh, would it be worthwhile to do that? Well, in terms of economics, purely talking numbers, no. But, you know, the idea here is that you're playing a racing game. So there you go, right? Anywho, uh, so that does it for this video. And... Uh, um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Race TV. No, that's okay. Um, so yeah. So there are those, the, the other two limited time series currently running. So I'll see if I can post the video for those. Uh, but for now, uh, take care and we'll see you in the next video.